Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of February 11th. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed. And for all the thumbs up on the videos and the lovely comments. Thank you for doing that. And I would also like to wish everyone a very happy Valentine's. All right. And your first card out is the Knight of Wands. So full of energy, feeling passionate about something, inspired to take action. Wow, what are you thinking of doing? <laughs> so you're charging ahead. For many of you, this could be a trip. Maybe you decided to just get out of town for a while. You're listening to yourself, you know. And you're also realizing that before you do this, you're going to take a step back because it's a smart thing to do. You're curbing your impulses here. You're giving you that yourself that three minutes before you jump forward into something because you're realizing that you need to think about something before you progress. And the three of swords, yeah. Well, there's been a betrayal, heartache, heartbreak for many of you. You suffered some grief, loss, emotional pain, you know, which has narrowed your prospects in life. And you're realizing that you need to reopen your heart, take the swords out, heal yourself, help yourself, you know, get past the grief and loss and the divorces in your lives and open yourself back up to the world of love instead of, you know, living with this pain and holding yourself back and thinking, you know, it may never ever happen because it will when you least expect it. And the five of pentacles, yeah been a financial loss in your life you know something has come up that cost you a little bit more than what you had anticipated and you're okay with that because it showed you where you've gone wrong what you need to take your next step in and you're protecting yourself you're moving away from things moving forward in life you know you're letting things going that have hurt you left marks and you're understanding that it taught you so with these losses, it will give you prosperity in the future because you're making sure that it happens. Yeah, and there it is, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, long-term views. You're hardworking, you got your head down, you know what you want to achieve in your life, what you want to have and going to have in your life. You're very determined. And now you're just trying to teach yourself that you know, breathe a little bit. It takes a little bit of time in order for it to show that it's, you know, going to pay you in the future, but it will pay you. So you're growing patience now with yourself and your surroundings. And the seven of rods. Yeah, you've had to defend yourself. You've taken on challenges. You know, you've done what you had to do. You had to make some um, decisions in your life that were hard, but you maintain control as you did them you just didn't you know do them because you had to do them you did them because it was the right thing to do at the time you defended what you needed to defend you're not going to just you know cave into anything anymore you'll stand your ground because it's time that people respect you and the page of pentacles yeah you're manifesting financial opportunities and boy they're coming you know, you've developed all of this. You've worked hard for it. It's not like it's been, you know, just given. You've seen the opportunities there. You've taken the necessary steps in order for it to get going. And you've, you know, closed different areas of your life out. You know, you shut the door on dead, dead end deals and you opened yourself up to whole new beginnings. And the universe is helping you to step through those doorways, you know, because now your health is starting to feel better because once you start to feel like you're accomplishing something, it changes all your feelings on the inside of your body, which helps it to heal and move forward. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And the sun comes out. <laughs> 
happiness, vitality, joy, wealth, celebration, your success. This is your rebirth for you. This is your step forward. The momentum now is going in your favor, you know, which helps you heal every aspect of your life. You just shine such a positive light and you're starting to feel so inspired now to take the next step. You know, you're starting to sing in the shower again. You're starting to enjoy yourself. You're having a more uh, positive outlook on what's coming for you in the future. And the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Thinking of definitely taking some travels for yourself. You know, just trips off the beaten path. You want to, you know, you love nature. You like to take strolls and stuff like that. And that might be what you're doing here. You're just taking that time out. You're feeling inspired to take your shoes off and, and take a step, you know, because you just want to. It's not you have to and be careful where you're stepping. <laughs> you know, but you just looking out on all that you've accomplished. You know, your finances have improved, your self-worth has improved, and you just feel better about your surroundings and your life this week. And the five of rods. So if there was any competition, you know, that you figured there, perhaps you were in, maybe you're just overanalyzing something, thinking too much, thinking that there is, you know, um, competition when there isn't any you stand out on a positive note because that's who you are it's just the way you are you know you I don't think you give yourself enough credit that your charisma is alive and so if there's any competition for like a opportunity in a job or moving up the ladder or any of that or a competition in a, a romance even you stand out because it's just the way you are. Oh, two of Swords. So you've made a difficult decision for yourself. You know, you're, you've are you weighed the ups and downs and opportunities and, and all that sort of stuff, but you're realizing that, you know, you're at a deadlock. You really have to not only make a decision, you have to make the step to accomplish it. And without getting sidetracked, you know, you have to, you know, if you have to make a list of things you have to do that day, make the list, check them off, make sure you accomplish them all, that sort of thing. You just know you need to breathe, put the swords down, take the blindfolds off. You know where you are. You know what you got to do. Yes, sometimes it's not easy to make that first step, but once you take it, the momentum will push you forward farther so it'll help you to achieve what you want and there you go the hair font yeah you are definitely you know speaking to somebody or you're giving yourself the right advice you know people come to you and ask you all kinds of stuff and you have all kinds of wisdom because you've been through many things in your life and perhaps now you're taking your own advice it's like you're opening up to understanding there's certain questions that you've always had the answer to. You've just never taken your own advice, but this week you are. You're realizing that the time is up. You need to take these steps forward because you want different things in your life. So you're telling yourself the truth that, you know, good, bad, or ugly, you're going to deal with it because it's the right thing to do to set your soul free. Whew. And look at that. Eight of Swords, and in it comes. It's going to be fast. You know, speedy recovery here. You know, you take fast action, which results in fast answers. But you're going to be very happy. Like, it's going to be quick. Like, just snap. It's going to be there. You're manifesting this to change and happen the way you want it to. And the universe is entail making sure that it does. So congratulations. There's air travel here for some of you as well. Maybe you're taking a quick trip somewhere. And the Fool card. New beginnings. Possibilities are endless. And you're opening yourself up to trusting the next step. You know, this is your blind faith 
in yourself and your understanding that everything will line up the way it's supposed to at the right time. So congratulations. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oil card. But your cards are all about positive movement. Once you decide to make a decision, take the steps forward and making it, you know, finish up in your life so that you can start a new beginning. All right. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but... Now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So true. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.